When you think of workplace violence, what comes to mind? Maybe it's an active shooter situation or violence against healthcare workers. These incidents capture most of the headlines and are undoubtedly very important, but they don't capture the full scope of workplace violence in the United States and Canada. Hello from the Laborers Health and Safety Fund of North America. I'm Emily Smith, Health Promotion Manager here at the Fund. So what does workplace violence encompass? Workplace violence includes any threat of physical violence, harassment, intimidation, or other threatening and disruptive behavior. About 2 million people each year report some type of workplace violence. It's estimated that 25% of workplace violence goes unreported. Examples include threats, ganging up, and bullying. One in three new workers in the construction industry experience bullying. Workplace violence can start as small incidents involving negative remarks and inappropriate behavior. It may escalate to physical violence, such as fighting or active shooter incidents. Harassment is a type of workplace violence and includes any unwelcome, discriminatory verbal or physical conduct. Examples include offensive jokes, slurs, name calling, or insults. It can create an intimidating or hostile work environment or interfere with a person's work performance. It's often based on a person's age, race, ethnicity, sex, sexual orientation, religion, or disability. Sexual harassment is any severe or pervasive unwanted conduct of a sexual nature or based on someone's sex. It can be verbal, such as comments about a person's clothing or body, nonverbal, like making derogatory gestures, or physical, by inappropriately touching someone without their consent. Two-thirds of surveyed tradespeople reported facing sexual harassment or gender bias in the workplace, and nearly 60% said they have witnessed it. The effects of workplace violence don't end when you leave the workplace. Being a victim can cause long-lasting mental health problems like stress, low self-esteem, anxiety, and depression, and physical health problems such as headaches, decreased appetite, and poor sleep. It can also reduce on-the-job performance by affecting a person's ability to concentrate or make decisions and lower morale, all of which can impact someone's career. One in seven Americans don't feel safe at work. No one should go to work in an environment where they have to worry about becoming a victim. For more information about workplace violence, reach out to the Fund's Health Promotion Division or leave us a comment below. Thanks and stay safe out there.